Kim Woo-ju or Professor Kim Woo-ju is one of the league experts in Asia Street to combat to fight COVID-19. So far, 65 cases in South Korea of relapse. Relapse is different from reinfection. Relapse is when the virus gets treated, the symptoms go away, and the patient even tests negative. But it is just the number of virus copies is so small that the PCR kit test can't detect it. Usually, we need about 3,000 copies of the virus for a person to test positive. That is to say, the PCR kit comes out positive when there are 300 or more copies of the virus. If there's less than that, the test comes out as negative, even if you still have the virus. So after you get discharged, the virus will pick it again and when it goes up from 3,000 to 4 to 5,000 you'll get the symptoms again. When a person gets infected by COVID-19 the body starts producing antibodies by the end of the first week and after two to three weeks more than 90% of infected produce those antibodies. Science is checking if antibodies that prevent reinfection are being neutralized out of the different types of antibodies. So we need the specific antibodies that attack the virus spikes proteins to neutralize the virus. So the conclusion in this polemic between reinfection and relapsing is that factually antibodies prevent reinfection. The alert steroids reduce the activity of the immune system. If you take any, you are letting the virus take over and start multiplying again. In Korea, by law, it's required to cremate all the corpses since the virus not only infects the lungs but all the parts of the body, so there's risk to get infected by contact even after death. After a body dies, it could actually keep the virus alive for two days, so the reasonable option is cremate or put disinfectant all over the corpse. The longest period the virus has stayed in an infected body is 26 days. There's an immunological phenomenon called cytokine storm. Imagine that cytokine is a bullet. The lymphatic and immune system are shooting these bullets at the virus. If the cytokine only targeted an attacked virus, that would be an ideal situation. But it'll overreact and attack and damage not only the virus, but your lunch tissue and all the parts of the body. So it's like your body is attacked by stray bullets. So you could say some young bodies are just so active that they overreact to the virus. This storm can't be predicted. There is no firm evidence of a blood type being weaker to COVID-19 than another. Humans can transmit the disease to their pets. Pneumonia vaccines or flu vaccines don't help at all with COVID-19. Being healthy doesn't mean have a strong immune system. You need the specific antibodies to fight COVID-19. There's no natural way to get immune to COVID-19. So either you get it from recovering from it or get the specific vaccine which does not exist yet best method to prevent, wash hand and wear mask. Homemade mask won't fully protect you from droplets of 5 microns or more, but it's better than nothing. KF94 protect from 94% of particles of 0.3 microns or more, pretty much as the N95 mask. When washed or reused, efficiency drops by 30%. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine have the trouble of self-medication. That's why it's so important to have the doctor prescription, since collateral effects can be hard on hot and taking the body to acidic level so high that can favor the spread of the virus. The vaccine trial will take three to four months to be approved. Historically, viruses intervals are getting shorter and their impact is getting bigger. So we have 2003 SARS, 209 swine flu, 2015 MERS-CoV and then 2019 COVID-19. <laughs>